The world is not big enough for us. We are constantly living to expand the possibilities hmm, that the world previously seemed to tell us were not possible. So we celebrate the moments in which we, so to speak, transcend or break the boundaries that were previously thought to be uh, in place. If in the Olympics a person goes one ten thousandth of a second faster than has ever been done, it's, just, it's a gold medal and it's celebrated, right? Hmm. In, any, in all fields, we're in a, in, a, in a sense trying to break the boundaries. So from our perspective, from the, from the yogic perspective, hmm, this is the self that's come to the fore in human life hmm, and inquiring about itself now without kind of knowing that it's inquiring about, it's about itself, but it, 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 to an extent that, it, that it, it hasn't been able to in less complex forms of life. And it's sensing and feeling that the world is not, the physical world is, is not quite big enough. Even the mental world, not quite big enough. We try to expand the world uh, through the arts and drama, poetry, in poetry, the moon can have wings and fly across the sky. Hmm. In the movies, it's possible that you can live happily ever after, hmm. and so forth. So we, we, we try to extend the world to, uh, to, uh, to really transcend the boundaries, because we are a unit of such transcendence. We are beyond them, but now we're identified with them and within that virtual reality, we think that we're bound by them. Hmm? So yoga is the way, spiritual practice is the way, Vedanta. Hmm? And again, I speak about this in a generic sense to include other authentic disciplines hmm? by which we can transcend in a comprehensive way the limits of material nature. By detachment, by moving back, we can come to some objectivity of what is the nature of the sense objects? What are the nature of the senses in this body? What is the nature of the mind? Hmm? And what am I? Hmm? Who wants to play? 